morning everybody how y'all doing uh, this is just a quick video it's it I don't know 7 30 or 8 o'clock in the morning the last two days we've had rain 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 has been miserable as anything the last two days yesterday and today has been gorgeous even got some lawn mowed last night uh, this here is a bit I know I've been telling people I would do some hay gardening well this spring I had the miserablest time with with crows in the hay garden and you get some slugs sometimes. Well I have no problem with taking care of the slugs. I have a an organic well it's not an organic bait for, for slugs, but it's a slugs it's not a pesticide. It's uh it's okay if dogs or cats or birds or something like that eat it, it won't harm them, but it takes care of the slugs. But the trouble I've had with the hay gardening is I had the slugs in the hay and I had the crows would land in and root through the hay looking for the slugs and they've been doing a lot of eating of the slugs. Well, traditionally around here when you have uh, trouble with crows, you would shoot a crow and you'd hang it on a post in the middle of the garden and then that would usually serve as a warning for the rest of the crows and uh, they would stay away because they, well, they wouldn't want to share the fate of their buddy. So uh, anybody that's a little faint of heart would probably be a good time to uh, turn the video off now because I'm going to show you my crow. Now, of course, times do change. This is my P-Row. Times do change and uh, I really didn't have the heart to shoot a crow and hang him in the garden. So last night I stitched this boy together out of an old t-shirt I had. This is an old black t-shirt. You notice there's my crow. He's got he's got button eyes. And uh, I stitched him up and hung him in the garden here oh probably three or four nights ago and I've had no problems with crows in rooting around in the hay. They, they flew by and they had a look at them, but I haven't had any trouble with them in the hay. And see what was happening. And this here I just put my corn in last night. And when I put my corn in, if you see I moved the hay and just make my rows and I put the corn in, well what they were doing was coming rooting in amongst the hay looking for the slugs and they were burying up the rows that had opened up in hay garden and what I do is is uh, I'll plant my corn and once that corn starts coming up I just reach in and I pull the hay in tight to the to the corn and then I don't have to worry about weeds and it seems to work quite well but the crows are really making a mess of stuff so there's my dead crow hanging for all those who thought I actually shot a crow and hung it up there well uh, my father might have, but I really didn't have the heart to. I believe best in to let live and let live if they can. Anyway, just a quick one this morning. Have a great one, everybody. I'm off to work.